Hello guys and welcome back to our course. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the Hello World program, which is the very first program that we do when you are learning a new language, okay? What language for the first time. So to do so, let's, uh, I have here the command prompt window, okay? I'm going to type Python, or Python, okay? I have the Python uh, interpreter, uh, at my disposal, I'm gonna uh, type some random stuff right here, some uh, math expressions. For example, six plus eight, and and I see that it is the fourteen as a result. Okay, so a hello world program is basically a, a message on the screen with the text hello world. To do so or to do that, we're gonna um, use a, or type a statement in the statement called print which is a function that does something that is to print something on the screen so after the print keyword okay which is a keyword I call I open a parenthesis okay and between double quotes I'm gonna type hello world exclamation mark double quotes again and close the parenthesis i have this statement and i'm gonna print uh, press enter and after that you can see that i have the hello world printed in my screen uh, so this is how you display data or information on on the, the program when you are creating python programs or scripts okay so keep in mind that print function is very important so this is how we do by the command prompt, but there are other ways to do so. Uh, so let's uh, open up the idle. Okay, the idle is the most common way to get started with Python, in my opinion. So a lot of people use this as a way to program Python for the first time because it's very simple. It comes with Python, so you just you you just uh, after you have installed Python, you can just use this program to do uh, Python stuff, okay? So let's do the same thing. Notice the syntax highlight and some information right here there. I'm gonna type hello world, exclamation, and then hello world again. So this is the very basic, it's a very big example of how to make a program in Python. As you can see, just one line of code and we can have this up and running uh, in another language. In other language, it would take 10 or 15 lines of code just to get this uh, example running. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video, and we're gonna see you guys in the next videos.